Captain in hey. 4 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the biggest youth show in town. Tell your mama, your father, your friends, your cousins, everybody who cares to know that primetime television has just begun. My name is Lama, ladies and gents. This is K-Found TV, and we go by the name of Excel. Welcome back. Hey, it's good to be back, man. It felt like I was gone from home. You've been gone from home. I've been gone from home. It's been a while. My name is our folks, the sheriff. Super, super excited to be back. And what a way to come back on a wacky Wednesday. I mean, there is no other way. Wednesday, we chill, we chillax. So, we all your ma, your pa, your opa, all your chomis and see if we going to lick it right here on XA 4 to 5 p.m. We have an exciting show, don't of we? Of course it is. You can follow us on Twitter. It's XA underscore live. Or you can go on Facebook. It's XA on Cape Town TV. That famous number to dial is 021-448-0448. Should you wish to send us an email to tell us about what you do for your community or you want to be here and perform for us the email to send those, it's XA at CapeTownTV.org. Today, the show is massive. Blasting music videos. People from... Rescue is the new black. So basically what they do is they actually a foster home for animals, cats and dogs and all other animals. And they actually then foster them and care for them, take care of them. And then you can come along at home and you can actually then adopt them and give them a safe, loving home as well. Also, we have all your skinny news, all the things that's happening in Celeville, in Mzanzi with trending news. Also, if you are like me and you're still on that festive vibe, know that we have your gig guide as well. So make sure you stay tuned, stay locked, and I want to dance. Pro Kid, Double HP, Zalque, Manintzi, Cresta, Eats. What's the name of the song? I have no idea, but... All it, I know, it, it goes like... Check it out. Stay, let's take it away. <laughs> oh, rest in power to the great double HP, to Pro Keep. And of course, thank you very much, Zapwe, for collaborating with the greatest hip hop artists. That was 17. How did they actually say that? Oh, forget it. What else on Twitter? It's XA underscore live. Today's hashtag is hashtag choose day. Don't get confused. We're not saying it's a Tuesday. We're saying today you can choose whatever you want. Whatever to choose. you want. So what are you choosing today? Let us know via our social media. I hope platforms. you're choosing us. I hope you're choosing us. I hope you're staying with us till 5 p.m. And I hope you're telling all your friends to join because we serve you the best dish of entertainment on you. I mean, what more do you want? What more do you want? Do you want presenters, set clips? Hey. We've got them later on today. So make sure that you keep it locked right here on XA. We also have DNA Fitness. So if you were part of the people who made New Year's resolutions that this year I'm going to keep fit and healthy DNA are here to show you how to do that. Of course, man. And I can't wait for that because I actually need to get in shape as well. No, don't, 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 don't. We have trending news waiting for you on the other side of this. <laughs> Whatever happens in the world of celebrity or ab abroad, South Africa, Indonesia, Cape Town, Gauteng, Kailicha, we've got it right here on Trending News. So Reza has the first story. Absolutely, absolutely. I love how you say that we have everything abroad, 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 because this is something that I actually thought was a scam when I saw it on Facebook, but it's not actually a scam at all. Laura Morrison, who is 36, she actually drove a 1958, um, car from scotland to cape town wow now she's actually from new zealand and she has finally arrived in cape town after a grueling journey by a car from Aberdeen in scotland to cape town now her epic journey took her through the uk europe and africa as well now laura morrison who's 36 she actually kept a journal of her journey on social media as she drove charlie who is actually a 1958 morris minor um, and she actually then inherited him inherited him from her dad neil when he died from cancer in 2016. she actually drove across 16 countries wait how did that happen did he drive over the seas as well so the car rides over water i don't i don't know she drove through the countries probably made her own and i mean petrol i mean petrol is sky so <laughs> well you thought that was a scam and it wasn't? It wasn't. Well, let me tell you what is a scam on facebook somebody's selling sasa cards and what? you are yeah 
you are being warned not to buy into it. The South African Social Security Agency, SASA, has voiced its concern following an advertisement of on Facebook by a man who claims to be selling Sasa cards. Sasa and the South African Post Office are currently working with the police to get to the bottom of this matter and are following leads that could result in the arrest of what seems to be the mastermind behind the scam. Sasa spokesperson Paseka Litsatsi said in a statement on Tuesday. This follows an advert on Facebook in which one Tabi Sotele is offering to sell Sasa cards on the Facebook group Balito Jobs. The cards are offered at prices ranging from 600 rands to 1,000 rands um, and claims that the buyers would receive 400 rands per month or 1.4 per month respectively. What? So you've been warned. What? If Who? it sounds too good to be true. It sounds very good. Hook me up. It probably is. Moving um, along. <laughs> I'm just serious. Anyway, four years of fire and still no electricity in Masipumelele. Now, more than 100 families living in Masipumelele wetlands, informal settlements say that they have been without electricity since the fires in May 2014 and November 2015. Now, four years later, and some families who say they had electricity before the fires are still living without electricity. We are talking about houses that had electricity before the fire and Section E community leader, uh, Mabuti Maloni, he actually said that the city told residents not to use candles or paraffin so as to avoid fires. He said that households without electricity paid 400 to 500 rand a month for an illegal connection regardless of the size of the household. Speaking of the city, this city works for you, and I'm talking about the Cape Town city. Um, the Cape Town city plans to improve entire station deck when budgeting permits, and I could not wait for this because that deck looks so messy. It makes me scared to go to town, actually. Um, apart from the work starting on Cape Town's train station deck today, the area is up for major upgrades if and when the city council finds the money for it. Mayoral Committee member for Transport Felicity Purchase announced that earlier this week, the station deck would be closed for maintenance and upgrade work. With work starting today, the city council's transport decorate is spending about 2 million rands on improving the station deck, although Purchase said the city council would undertake other major upgrades as funds become available. Absolutely I amazing. to see the facelift of Of this. course, and the city is actually doing amazing things. One thing that I love is that Home Affairs phone ban is now actually going to become official. Now, the Public Servants Association of South Africa, also known as the PSA, has condemned as misplaced and ill-informed the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Home Affairs for calling for a total ban of cell phone use by the department front um, desk staff. Now, Chairman, Chairman of the committee, um, Klomani Chaoke, on Monday urged the department to consider an outright ban on cell phone usage by frontline staff during working hours at all home affairs offices. And this was after the committee actually received numerous complaints mm -hmm. from the public and also videos going viral on social media showing that these um, home affairs people and front desk are actually using their phones while people are waiting to be served. So they're going to have an complete outright ban of self. They so should have had that long time um, ago. Snapchats, Instagram, Wada Wada, fish paste, all over while they're busy working. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Government, do something. But we're about to do something very special for the viewers. We're taking them to an ad break. Keep it locked right here on ah. Town TV. Hey man, welcome back. You're still watching XA. We're taking you all the way till 5 p.m., keeping you informed and educated all at the same time. We have an amazing interview coming up with the Rescue is the New Black with Donna and Michelle. But just before we dive into that, Lama has some social media that you want to share with us. But are the cameras ready for me? Hey? Are they ready for me? Are you ready for them? I am ready for them, How but, do I'm you? Not, but I'm not on the screen. So I suggest that you carry on um, speaking with Michelle and Donna, and then I'll join the guys. Okay, you can go ahead with the tweets as well. So, Donna and Michelle, Rescue is the New Black. Tell us about what it is that you guys actually do, because when I heard the name, I thought it's some sort of TV series or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, a doing some series, Orange is the New Black. Oh, okay, I knew there's some sort of resemblance. Yeah. Um, and Lisa started the Facebook page. Okay. And from there, we just started growing. And and now we're at 12,000, over 12,000 followers. Yeah. Oh, wow. Facebook following our page. So, so if I hear the name Rescue is the New Black, 
what do what do I expect from you guys? What is it that you guys do? We get phone Just calls from from the public. Okay. And they will say, oh, I've seen this dog, um, pregnant. No one's looking after it. Mm -hmm. Can you please help? We'll go out and we'll collect the dog. Um, find a foster. Find find a foster home. We don't okay. have a shelter as such. Okay. We rely on foster moms or a foster dad. Okay. So the foster parent will take the dog in, look after them. We pay for all the food and the mm -hmm. vet bills. And then the foster mom, when the dogs are ready to be adopted, then we put um, posts onto our Facebook page. Oh, wow. And then that's how we get them adopted. And, and how often do you guys actually get these kinds of calls and saying, hey, look, but I saw a stray cat or dog or whatever the case may be? <laughs> often. Yeah, look, I wake up in the morning to about 60 to 100 WhatsApps oh my word. on my phone. So every single day, there's just, it's, it's enormous. About Cape Town. Um, so 60 to 100 posts per day. and WhatsApp messages. What, WhatsApp yeah. messages. So take us through the process. So I WhatsApp you and say, hey, look, I saw this dog. She's pregnant. She's not being looked after or anything mm -hmm. like that. What next? What's the next step? What do I need to then do? Look, typically you give us the information, anything that you've got, the location, mm -hmm. phone numbers of anybody that's around, and we would then go out and see what we can do. Obviously, if it's a case of abuse, neglect on a mm -hmm. property, something like that, SPCA would, would then take over. Mm -hmm. um, but if it's typically in the street or somebody doesn't want their dog, the people are immigrating, which mm -hmm. is something that's happening a lot now. Serious. Mm -hmm. People are immigrating, they're not taking the animals over, and we are then trying to assist finding them homes before they go into a shelter. Okay. And then what, let's say you guys get the dog um, off the streets and everything like that, and then you, you say you place them at a foster home. What does that mean? The first, the first thing we do once we get the dog off the street is actually mm -hmm. take them to the vet. Oh, okay. So they looked, um, the vet obviously checks them out, yes. everything, whatever's needed yes. is done. Then we've got, um, I think at the moment, about eight foster moms. Yeah, we've got about eight. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll give them a call and we'll say, okay, we've got, say, two little pups. Yes, yes. Can you take them in? Okay. And then they will. So they'll come and collect the dogs and then they look after the dogs until they can be adopted. Okay. And in terms of becoming a foster mom or dad, how do I then go about um, to become one? And do I contact you guys? Yes, what happens? definitely. So <laughs> look, we, we couldn't do what we do if we didn't have the fosters. Mm -hmm. um, they are amazing. They open their homes, give up their time. They yeah pick up the poop, they pee, they're yes. amazing and we, we just wouldn't be able to do what we do. Um, so what you would do is pop a message, we do a home visit, you know, see the property is safe, mm -hmm. um, obviously see if somebody's at home, if it's small, it depends, you get yeah. small bottle babies that are a day old, yeah. you'd need to, you know, feed them every two hours. Exactly. So it depends, like uh, for an older dog and you work, that's absolutely fine too. Yeah. So we'd, we'd see, we'd have a discussion with the home visit and yeah. see what best would suit you if you want to be a foster exactly and you also you also mentioned that um when it is that you guys then get these abused dogs or lonely dogs etc you then take them to the vet you know to get them checked and all of those mm -hmm. things and i'm sure that costs money as well i think it was up to 850 rand or something like that that that's that's the adoption fee that's our, the adoption our fee. veterinary bills can cost 20 40 000 oh rand my word a, a month um it's it's a lot and then where do you guys then get funding, you know, for these we, things? We, d we, d we rely on our adoption fees, which okay. is 850, and then public donations. Okay. We've had some very generous donations, and that's what we rely on. Okay. So and we do do fundraisers now and again as oh, well. Okay. So we'll have like a tattoo day or, Lovely. you know, we'll, yeah, people help us out and we have a fun day and we manage to raise some funds through that as well. Okay, cool. Take me through the <coughs> adoption process. So you guys got the dog, the dog's well taken care of, he was living with his foster mom or dad, mm -hmm. and then I come along and I'm like, hey, okay, I'm willing to adopt the dog. So I pay a, a 850 fee, is there any forms that I need to fill in and yeah. things like that? So what we would do is, first thing is do a home visit, make sure okay. the property's safe, you know, there's no gaps that they can get out of, um, we once that is cleared, we then do the adoption forms. Okay. Um, if you do have any other animals, we do the introduction between mm -hmm. the animals. Make sure it's off to the best start that they could get. 
Um, and yeah, and then and the last thing is we would we would then do the fees, cool. the adoption fees. I want to know why it is so important for sterilization of animals because most of the times you're hearing uh, in cases where people are taking the dogs to the SBCA or the vet, yeah. the next thing they sterilize. Why yeah. is this actually so important? Have you seen how many dogs are out there? <laughs> <laughs> I think that sums it up. That just sums it up. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, no, it's insane. Um, you know, there's, there's actually a chart, and I, I, the numbers, I just can't think of it mm -hmm. now. But, you know, within 10 years, one cat can have up to 16,000, you know, something like that. Oh, my word. So it's a case of the numbers just keep increasing. There's just not enough homes for all the animals. So, so do we sterilize? all our cats or do we stop them from mating sterilize sterilize sterilize, sterilize. Yeah. and so when will we actually know okay look the number has decreased we're safe now because i mean most of the time people are like oh i want a kitten and but now we need to sterilize and so what happens then look there's just so many animals and you're always going to have somebody that's not going to sterilize and have a litter of kittens or puppies i of think course. there's just so many people that aren't aware of how many animals are put to sleep every single day. Yeah. So I would definitely, there will always be puppies and kittens yeah. and animals. It's just trying to get more people to be of responsible. Course. Of course. Wow, you, so well, you just jumped in. I want to fright. I want to know, um, here comes Riza. He wants to adopt a pet and you don't know his background. Mm. So how sure are you that the pet that is coming from the foster family that he's used to and is mm -hmm, happy mm -hmm. and then you're handing him over to Riza and you don't know his background so yeah. what happens there? Well our application form which is obviously one of the first things mm. um, has a lot of questions. Okay. Um, also we, we do we go on a vibe if somebody comes in there and you like you get you know that gut feeling no no no, 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 no. no. he's gonna <laughs> tie that dog to a chain you know, unfortunately, we would then reject the application. Of course, of course. Um, we, we make sure that each and every one of our animals go into the most amazing homes. Of mm. course. And we've been fortunate to have that as well. I love now, it. Now, Donna told me early on that um, you asked people, are they looking for a yard um, pet or a house pet? Yeah. Um, why is that important? Um, the recently, there's been a huge amount of dogs which are poisoned or stolen from yards. Mm -hmm. So we prefer to make sure that our dogs are actually going to be a house pet. In the, in the sense is that, yes, in the evening, it will sleep in the house. It's yeah. going to be part of the family yeah. mm -hmm. and not just being put into the yard to be a guard dog. Okay. Oh, very well then. Um, oh, Kristen, who is a foster mom, is going to be joining us later on with her pet, Pedro. We can wait to chat with them. Um, as well as, oh, Michelle, no, Donna, not going anywhere anytime soon. So follow us on Twitter, <laughs> it's XA underscore live. Right now, it's time for us to check out those dogs in a music video by TKZ Family titled Is in Jazam. Do you enjoy? <laughs> Classic song hey. over there by TKZ family. It's what we call. Um, wondering why we chose that music video. I think it's fitting because today we're talking rescue is the new black where they rehabilitate, they rehome, um, they rescue um, pets. Honda and God. Ne? Dogs. Dogs and cats. And for more information about um, Rescue is the New Black, you can um, email them at info at rescue is the new black. Facebook, it's rescue is the new black. There you can find pictures of pets waiting to be adopted by you. Like they said earlier on, for e adoption fee, it's 850 because it includes vets, they go to the clinics, they buy food because um, animal food is expensive. There's mm -hmm. milk and stuff and stuff like that. Follow us on Twitter, it's XA underscore live. Today's hashtag is Tuesday. And I've got these following tweets um, that go like this one comes from Pam, says, hashtag Tuesday, I choose me for the rest of 2019 prioritize yourself. And then this one comes from Iga Dalodge. Hashtag Tuesday. Be careful of things you say in front of kids. Please. Don't ask me what that means. I just read it. 
This one is from Liet. Your quitting is not an option. It can never be an option because it is not a solution. Hashtag Tuesday. One last tweet um, before we carry on with our interview. The one comes from Edith. Tuesday. I love this set. Cross my heart. Hashtag XL. Beautiful set, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Welcome to the set that Thank we love you. here on social media. Thank it's you. Christine and Pedro. How are you? Thanks. He says he's fine. He's, he's fine. He's <laughs> fine. Um, when did you find Pedro? Pedro came out of a squatter camp in uh, Franzouk. Okay. Yes, and um, he was in quite the state. He couldn't even lift his head Jeez. when we got him. Yeah. Um, so rushed him through to the vet, and they wanted to put him out. Mm. And yeah, as we, as Michelle would do, as she always does, um, no, it's not an <laughs> option. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, he is. And yeah. how long will you actually take the care of him now? Until he finds a home. Until he, he needs a home. <laughs> and how long has it been, though? Uh, probably around four weeks. Four mm -hmm. weeks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Michelle and um, Donna told us that um, a foster mom can take care of up to eight dogs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, how many um, pets do you have at home? How many are you fostering? At the moment, uh, I have 20 dogs at home. <gasps> <Woo! laughs> I almost got uh, a fright. <laughs> all right. And why did you choose to foster? <laughs> well, um, it's always been my passion since I was little. Uh, my mom used to find me hiding dogs in the Seriously? house. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And um, yes, I've always loved especially dogs, you know, and yeah. they've always helped me out in difficult times, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, then I wanted to give back to them. Of course. I want to know, how do you manage 20 dogs on a daily? Like, Well, I have a wonderful husband okay. who is extremely patient and he helps out, okay. uh, as well as my children. Okay. Um, they're quite young, but they understand and they help out as best they can, a mom who helps out as well, and my six dogs, oh, okay. who are extremely patient, mm -hmm. and uh, allow them to climb on top of them <laughs> to a specific point, you know? Oh, well, well. So yes, it's a lot of help. It's now, Kristen, how do you detach yourself? Because I cannot imagine that it's possible you detach yourself emotionally from a pet that you're taking care of on a daily. You got to have some feelings um, for them. Now, what happens when Riza wants to take your dog away and finds him a, a home? Um, it's, how does it feel? It's hard, mm. but at the same time, it's you feel at peace because having 20 dogs at home, you can't give all the attention that they deserve exactly. to each one. Exactly. I have a family of my own as well, so I need to take care of my children every exactly. so often. And And so when this family comes and they're going to take them into a good home where they're going to get loved and so much attention it feels good to let them go you know you you're not doing it for yourself you're doing it for the animals of course of course and for the people out there who actually want to become foster moms as well moms or dads what advice would you actually give them because i mean I, I feel like the best advice would be coming from you coming 20 dogs hello <laughs> so what advice would you actually give for someone who wants to become a foster mom or dad it's not that hard uh, okay. you know when people think about foster parent uh, being a foster parent it's uh, you know, it's immediately, oh, I can't do it, yes, and it's too yes. much responsibility yes. and stuff. It's not. It's very rewarding. And, um, for example, Rescue's the New Black. These two ladies are magnificent. They help out with anything. Yeah. You can contact them all the time, and they will help you as best they can. So you've always got support. I love yeah, Donna, um, <coughs> Michelle, I understand that before somebody, you, you, let, you allow them to adopt a pet. You screen them to check if they are suitable. So is that the case when they want to foster dogs? What's the process there? Definitely, we, we'd also try to, you know, do a, a full screening and you don't want to get into the situation where they're just dishing out puppies. Oh no, well, find a home and I gave it to the people down the there road. Go. Yeah, I know, you know, sorted. No, so we, we want to, you know, make sure it's people that we, um, we can trust with the animals mm -hmm. um, and a family that will put them first because if a dog is sick or a puppy is sick, mm -hmm. we need to know that, you know, two o'clock in the morning, Christine, I used to get phone calls three o'clock. Listen, puppy's sick, I'm going to the vet. Oh my way. At three o'clock in the morning, she's driving down to the vet. So, I mean, absolutely amazing. So, so we do need people that are willing and wanting to put the of animal. Course. Of no, course. I don't know what would what would you say is the importance of dog or, or cat um, care? Like, what should we care? Um, your pet should be part of your family. Yeah. You know, you don't. You, you want to make sure that they go to the vets. They get the right um, inoculations. Mm -hmm. um, they're eating it 
proper pet food, you know, yeah, on a good diet, they're getting regular exercise. You don't want to see a dog with a big, big chain around yeah. his neck and, you know, tied to, to a pole and he's standing in the sun uh -huh. 20, uh, most of the day. Um, he's your child. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. and what, it, what, what about the viewers at home who are thinking, oh, look, but I got a dog, I got a cat. Um, they are in, let's say, a kind of a bad condition. Um, but I don't actually want to give them away. I actually want to take care of them as well. What can they then do, you know, in order to t take better care um, of their pets as well? They can also go to animal welfare societies mm -hmm. where they can um, take the dog, get advice, and the rates are also a lot um, cheaper than a normal vet. Okay. And um, yeah. and then people, and then the, the vet there will be able to advise them on how to care for their mm -hmm. pet. You know, if you see ticks and fleas, yeah. this is what you do, things like that. Of course. Now, that people will be asking, <coughs> ah, but they want us to adopt a pet. Yeah. Now, they're asking for 850. What is it that they really want from us? What, what's going on? <laughs> Let them know why. We get that a lot. Um, a lot of people aren't happy with the, the adoption fee, but, you know, if you have, I was saying to Donna earlier on with one of the, the comments that we got, when you have a child, or when you were born, mm -hmm. you paid the doctor's money, yeah. right? For the theater time, for the everything. So it's the same thing. An animal is a life. They cost money to feed for the vaccinations like you would your child. Deworming, same as mm -hmm. your child. So, you know, it helps us as well, but sterilization, it covers all of that. Yeah. yeah. So, what was the question again? <laughs> so why? Why? I, I think you answered it. Was on the right track? Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. I want to know real quick before we do go, what are the future plans for Rescues the New Black, and where can we guys actually get in touch with you? We would... We would love funding, <laughs> <laughs> of course. and if we do manage to get a sponsor from a big uh -huh. company or a lot of funding, we'd love to go into areas where we can mm. yes. go assist. and assist people yeah. and, okay, we will sterilize your dog and pay for vet fees. Yes. We would love to be able to do that. Cool. So they can always, you know, anybody that ever wants to reach out to us, they can pop us an inbox mm. on our Facebook or Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, we will definitely, it's just, you know, not many hands on deck. So <laughs> yeah. we'll get back to you as soon yes. as we possibly can. So I don't go to Christine's house and ring the bell. Uh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I go to you guys. You have 20 dogs charging you, yeah. so it wouldn't be the best. All right, um, then, um, if you want more information about Rescues, the new black, you can hit us up on Facebook. It's like Sarah on Cape Town TV. We've got their information. Or go straight to their page, and they'll respond to you. Thank you very much for keeping it locked right here on Cape Town TV. Otherwise, Excel will be back on the flip side of this. Thank you very much for the work that you do. Thank you so much. Very, very beautiful. Pedro! <laughs> XA on Cape Town TV on Facebook and at XA underscore live on Twitter. Make sure to give us a follow, holler at us, comment, let us know what it is that you enjoy about the show. If you want to be on the show, if you're a singer, rapper, etc. Also, this past couple of months. man super sorry for that let's see almost as technical difficulties that's the professional word we use for a few mistakes in and around this video like i was saying if it is that you're doing amazing things in your community as well um uplifting the community or whatever the case may be we want to hear from you send us an email xa at capetowntv.org we want to know what it is that you are doing singer rapper anything let us know hit us up on all our social media as well and give it a like as well while you're at it also a couple of months back we had our present 
then to search a few hopefuls came through thinking that they did actually come along and share their presented talents with everyone we had additions for exe we had additions to hype it up as well and right about now we're actually going to go ahead and show you guys some of the highlights that went down a couple of funny moments sad moments awkward moments all the moments that you can think of as well man check this out it's absolutely amazing <laughs> she's not only an actor, she's not only an MC, she's not only an, organiz an organizer of events. A good afternoon to it. Okay, sorry. A good afternoon to you and welcome to. And I'm a client that he has one day, is one day. Yeah, Dach is here, Dach. So, Lerato, what flavor are you bringing to Excel? I'm bringing me flavor. You need me flavor. You don't need any other flavor besides me. I can tell your yeah. Nella now is waiting like patient. You're like, oh, <laughs> when are these songs coming? Relax, relax, yeah. your Nella. Controversy. Controversy. Controller, controller. Well, Q, good luck and slay. This is a I'm, I'm, I'm very good at keeping up cues. That's just me. Yeah, she's selling herself. I'm very good improving cues. That's me. Okay, she's saying she's shining. We need a makeup artist. Where's Tiff? Tiff? Part of my nose, please. Ooh, please. <laughs> Time does accept play. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know. But look, yeah. Yeah, and that's good flavor you bring into the team. The Prince vibe, bruh. What's the Prince vibe? You know, like the swag. <laughs> uh, search and find and change a lane. I've been upset. People are putting me to my success. I'm funny. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. Listen here. Go inside and tell them that I say you got the job. Go, 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 Kelly, go. Go, Kelly, go. Go, go, Kelly, go. Kelly got bills. Kelly got a man. Kelly got ass. Kelly got a house. Kelly got a man. No, no, no. Oh. Why am I involved? As well. So make sure that you do come along and watch the Cape Town TV presenter search special <laughs> with us. It's going to be amazing. Well, our hashtag is hashtag Tuesday. This one comes from Bali, who says, It may only be a Wednesday, but good food is always a mood. Pay us a visit to my friends at my house and eat with us and catch Cape Town TV hashtag Tuesday. The blonde guy, though, hashtag Tuesday is super. I'm watching from Pretoria. Hashtag Tuesday. Cunning of hell, 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 it's a Tuesday and hashtag XA can be your choice in looking outstandingly, standing out I from love it. the rest. So it goes like this. Hey, <laughs> DNA Fitness, check it out. What was that? <laughs> Get fit and also ready for summer as well. As you can see, I'm actually right here in the fitness corner. And of course, the DNA is here in the building. I know this time around, you see my brother like, ah, you always like to bring all these equipments and we need to do like, you know, um, hard workouts. What do you have for us today? Okay. You remember it's summer. Yeah, right? I know. And yeah. You need to prepare for whatever that is coming your way. Yeah. So what are you going to do first? And I know that everybody loves the squats because they say it makes It grows sure. something. Yeah, yeah, behind, something, yeah. Right? <laughs> so we all starting with the squats, right? Okay. So we're only doing five counts as mm -hmm. we start. All right, let's okay. Go. So we go down. So make sure the back is straight. All right, for five counts, all right? So let's start five counts. One, two, three, four, five, and relax, all right? That was yeah. easy, eh? Yeah, that was very easy. easy. So now we're going in for 10 counts, all right? So I want you to get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
<laughs> and ten. And relax. Breathe in and out. See, you got me right there. All right, so we have to count slow sometimes just to, you know, to put in that extra work, yeah. right? So yeah. we're going in for the third count. Okay. The third count is 15 counts. 15 Only counts. 15 counts, all right? Okay, let's go for it. All right, so get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five counts to go. One, <laughs> two, three, four, and, and five. five. Oh, that. <laughs> Breathe in and Seems out. Like it's not an easy um, exercise, it, even though it may look very easy, but I see it helps with the legs. It helps with the legs as well as you're getting your figure right. Okay, cool. What's next? All right, so what's next? You're just going to do the same thing, squats, but you do it on the step, all right? Okay, cool. So it's a jumping squat. Uh -huh. So you don't have to jump if you can't jump. Mm -hmm. So those at home, you cannot jump. What you can do, walk up, squat, walk down, do the squat. Yeah. All right? And if they don't have the equipment, they can use a step maybe at home? They can yeah. use a step at home and maybe get maybe a, a bigger pillow in the house. Mm -hmm. Hold it. You know? Okay, cool. So we're going to go on now, all right? So we're jumping up. Can mm -hmm. you jump? I'll try and jump, but all if right. I can't, then so I So we're only doing five counts, all mm -hmm. right? Three, two, one. Let's go. Jump up. One, squat, squat. Number two. Number three. Yeah, you can also do that. And number four. And number five. Ooh. I feel very good. It's... Okay, cool. Let's go for it. Right, but so I'm not going to jump this time around. You don't need to jump, but you're going to feel it the same way okay, as you cool. jump. All right? All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Then I'm just gonna die. Okay, cool. All right. I mean, also after you're doing an exercise, do you need to warm up or maybe just warm down? Do you call it warm up or warm down? Now? No, they, they call it cool down. Oh, uh, cooling down. Oh, warm down, okay. or whatever you wanna call it. Yeah. So what you can do, just warm down or cool down. Mm -hmm. Take a walk in the house. Walk around. Yeah. Cool down. Okay, cool. There you guys yeah, have it. Thank you so much, Arnold. Even though you killed me, and I hope he also killed you guys at home, but we'll be right back right after this. Woo. Yes, it's about time of the day where we say goodbye. However, we cannot let you go away without letting you know what's hip and happening in and around the Cape. Because um, it's the last time, except as today, we'll be back next week, Monday. So let's go out with a bank. So this is what you can look forward to this week. Your favorite SA indie rock bards are going to be in Nudro Rook and Cape Town for two magical nights. Um, they are doing something a little a little bit different for these shows um so don't miss it tickets are very limited so you gotta book them early thursday the 17th of january which is tomorrow they're gonna be at cafe rooks noodle rook and then on friday the 18th of january which is the day after tomorrow they're gonna be at cafe rooks at cape town you can also follow them on facebook um tickets are available on www.webtickets.cr.za forward slash events forward slash Featured for Lash Cafe Brooks Cape Town. So go there and have fun, my people. Of course, man. And if it is that you are having a couple of friends over and you want to make them a little treat, you can actually learn how to make the perfect macarons in three hour masterclass with Samantha Liang Cake Artistry. Now, using the Italian method, you will learn how to make perfect macarons every time. All ingredients will be supplied as well as a recipe method and also a troubleshooting guide for those of you who's not so like a boo. Um, all you need to know, all you need to bring along rather is an apron and container for your macarons and I would actually suggest a two liter ice cream container as this recipe will actually 
um, make 40 filled macarons. One class, one-on-one -on -one classes is actually hosted daily, starting from the 3rd until the 22nd of January 2019. The class is three hours and it will cost you 500 rands per person. Please also, no spot will be reserved without proof of payment. And for any other information, you can email liangcakes at gmail.com. For Alia Cooker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you saying? For Alia Cooker. <laughs> Spear um, presents its first light art exhibition. They started from the 10th of December 2018 and they carry on till the month ends. That is the 31st of January 2019. So you need to try to get there before 6 p.m. because uh, in Dao, not by in but about my needs. So then that in Dao, Ibeng, Babo. And enjoy the sunset with a selection of cheese and chakro tare platters at the wine tasting room. Room. Be sure to book your dinner at eight restaurants or Vada Smokehouse and Bakery before exploring the sound and light installations using the self guiding map. Entrance to the light art exhibition is free from until um, the 31st of January. Some works will be visible at dusk, whilst others switch on at 8 30. So you do not have to pay for Of this. course, man. And also, you can check out on the 20th of March, Judas Priest Heavy Metal at the Grand West Arena. So make sure you go ahead to all of those key guys. From us, my name is Rizal Forbes, Lama Exe. We thank you for tuning in. We'll be here tomorrow between 7 and 8. Make sure that you catch the repeat if you miss it. And now it's time for us to say youngster CPT BOC. Yes. Look at you.